Jane Lunnan. I'm with the Ashe County Arts Council in West Jefferson, and I've got another update on the arts in Ashe. So happy to have with me a guest today, Jay Wild. Jay, welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Jay is a photographer uh, and a resident of West Jefferson and Ashe County. And um, Jay, you're also a recipient of one of our 2014-2015 Regional Artist Project Grants. That's true. Grateful. Congratulations recipient. on your grant. Thank you. You know, for those that don't know about the Regional Artist Project Grant, it's uh, a, a pool of money that's open to artists in Ashe, Watauga, Allegheny, and Wilkes counties every year. Artists apply for funding from this grant pool um, for projects that will help them advance their career, take them from one level of proficiency with their art form, whatever it is, to the next. Jay was one of many uh, applicants last year and one of nine happy grant recipients. So, you're a photographer, and your grant project was? It was for a mat cutter to help reduce some of the expenses of getting my photography out there. So, um, I'll be able to cut my own mats and perhaps do a little more, uh, get a little more of my artwork out there. I'm, I'm sure, as a photographer, you are continually taking pictures the decision process in what you decide you want to share with others to to sell I'm sure it's a pretty pretty tough tough decision well there's a lot of stiff competition out there especially in the high country up here and I shoot in the landscapes and nature categories and there are a lot of folks up here doing that so uh, most artwork that sells has to be unique in some way. It has to be a unique scene, a unique interpretation of the scene. So uh, getting out there and finding that special time of the day or that special location is really critical. How much time would you say you actually spend out in the field? Well, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it sometimes catch as catch can and all of a sudden you, you come across something and happen to have your camera with you? Or? Um, some of that, uh, some of that you look at uh, what the weather's going to be, uh, you look at where the sun's going to be at a particular time or where the moon's going to be at a particular time, and you try and pick the location where the light is going to be right for the shot that you're trying to compose. Uh, a lot of the work is pre-visualization of the scene, so you see in your mind the scene that you would like to compose and then you do all the due diligence to set that scene up, get out on the spot and probably uh, a lot of times sit there for hours wait. and wait for the light to be just right. So it is a lot of planning and thought process not just a happenstance. Yeah, you just don't go out there and take a <laughs> snapshot. You have to Jay, you brought a couple time. of great samples of, of some of your work. Um, the, hold, hold that one up uh, in front of the camera so folks can see. Let's, let's let this, it go that way. This shot's taken um, on the Flat Top Ridge Trail at Moses Cone Park. And uh, the story behind this scene was I attended a uh, Blue Ridge Photo Fest in May of 2012. And the light and the weather that particular day were not very good for a sunset scene. So I went back at another time and waited for the sunset to get just right. I probably took something like 400 exposures oh and goodness. picked this one out of oh, those. Oh, it's fabulous. Fabulous. Um, what the, the, the image is one thing. Then how you present it with it being matted uh, is, is another part of, of the overall package of what a consumer is looking at when they're looking to to procure some of your work. Talk a little bit about this, this matting process. Uh, part of the matting process is to pick the right color mat and the right combination of mats, if it's a double mat, to uh, bring out the highlights in the scene and really interpret the uh, tonal quality of the scene and what it's trying to say. Uh, I can't really take credit for the framing on this particular mat. Uh, uh, a little pitch, uh, Lori's framing here in Boone did this mat, and uh, they have quite an eye for matching the color in the scene to the mat. But uh, 
part of the story of this mat is with a double mat, it increases the cost both to the photographer and to the purchaser of the uh, end print. Right. So by you being able to do it, you, you first of all have the, uh, the luxury of the, the timing of getting it done as quickly as, as you can and, and as you want to, and having the materials and the supplies right there at your access to, to do it the way you want to do it. That's exactly um, right. A lot of the problem uh, that I've run into is uh, I may have a gallery show coming up and the framer uh, has a limited amount of time to do everybody's artwork. So it might be <coughs> six, eight weeks before right. I could get a mat and maybe 10 weeks to get a mat with a frame from a commercial framer. So part of this purpose of this grant is to save me some of that time and allow me to get the work out there for some of the shows that I enter. That's great. And you've got a couple of other samples that folks will be seeing throughout this whole uh, interview and discussion. But let's hold up the one that's uh, the, the piece that you've done on canvas and, this and talk about that a little bit. Uh, this particular shot is also taken at the Flat Top Ridge Trail at Moses Cone. This is the tunnel that you pass through on that horse trail on Flat Top Ridge Trail. Uh, and it worked out particularly well on canvas. Uh, it almost looks like a painting when it's done on canvas. This is actually a photo print. Um, and it's done similar to the gicle process. It's done with permanent inks on a canvas sheet and then it's stretched just as a typical art canvas and then placed in this floating frame. That's a gorgeous work of art, Jay. And there are lots of different methods that uh, photographers use to display their art. Canvases, standard prints, they also print on metal. Uh, now there are firms that will actually do a print on glass, so the uh, ink is actually uh, placed on the glass. So there are lots of ways to display artwork, and I've even seen uh, panoramic images that people use for backsplashes in their kitchens. Oh, how neat! What a fun, what a fun thing! You know, elevating photography to the fine arts. Is, is something that I think everyone is becoming more and more aware of. And in the high country, and in West Jefferson in particular, we've got some really, really fine photographers. And Jay Wild is certainly one of those at the top of that list. Thank you. Jay, your, your work is regularly shown at the Catchlight Gallery in downtown West Jefferson, which is a gallery devoted exclusively to photography. That's right. And the Catchlight Gallery represents how many photographers? We've got uh, 17 artists at the Catchlight Gallery, and we also uh, have an exhibit of the local high school students' uh, black and white photography. So back in the back corner of Catchlight, you can see some of the up-and-coming high school artists. Oh, that's great encouragement for them. And the, uh, many of the members of the Catchlight Gallery are part of the Ash Camera Club. And you have regular meetings that I assume are open to new photographers or folks wanting information? They are. We encourage uh, everyone who has an interest in photography, whether it's a beginning photographer or an advanced photographer, to come to those meetings. We share ideas. We usually have new tips or ideas on how to use photo processing software. Um, lots of discussion and lots of information exchange at those meetings. Great. And the Ash Camera Club will be having an exhibit just of their members' work uh, the end of August, beginning of August, I guess, at the Gallery of the Ash Art Center. If you'd like more information about the Ash Camera Club, about Catchlight Gallery, about Jay Wild and his work, you're welcome to give us a call at the Ash County Arts Council. You can reach us by phone, 336-846 2787. You can check out this information and more on our website, ashcountyarts.org, or better yet, just come on over to West Jefferson. Put on your rain slicker or your, your mittens and your gloves and your woolly hat and walk around downtown and check out the gallery scene and the visual arts in Ash County. Jay, it was a pleasure to have you here with me on the show. Love seeing your work. Congratulations again on your Regional Artist Project Grant. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.